What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the new Lego Star Wars The Crimson Firehawk from the Young Jedi Adventures. Now this is set 75384 with 136 pieces that retails for $49.99. So that is a higher price, $50 for a 4 plus set especially, so it's supposed to be, you know, for younger kids. Now I do know they have the big molded pieces as when I flip around on the back, it'll kind of show you that. But I did want to get this set since I did get the first one, so I wanted this one to be able to get our other Jedi character of Nubs, so the like bear-like character, and then Nash which is also a pretty main character in the show as well. So just to sort of finish out the Young Jedi adventures for me because I got all the characters I cared for. So it's cool to at least get Nash's ship of the Crimson Firehawk and then have part of like market design of Tanu there. So getting that's pretty cool. But like I said, for me mostly, I just wanted it because of nubs. But if we spin it around to the back, we can see the pieces. So you get these big molded pieces, you know, for the younger kids to be able to easily put them together. So I guess that's why, but like I said, just paying $50 for a set that would be for little kids. Like I feel I wouldn't buy this for a kid because it's too expensive for what you get with this. So I feel like $30 at most would be like the most I would pay for a set like this to give it to a young kid, especially for, as their first Lego set. But like everything else, everything's expensive nowadays. But like I said, I just wanted to finish out the Young Jedi Adventure, so it doesn't really bother me too much. But just seeing that price for the four plus sets is just kind of crazy in my opinion. But enough with looking at the box, let's go and look at the actual set, but we'll start with the minifigs. So we have our minifigs, we only get two. We'll go ahead and start with Nubs, which is a Pooba. I thought with the design, he looked like an Ewok, but you know blue I was like kind of weird to have a blue Ewok but he's actually a species called a Pooba but it's cool to get him because I missed him from the first set I was like I don't know why they didn't include him but then knowing that Nash and stuff was in the show I was like oh I can guarantee we're going to get a set with her vehicle and sure enough we did so we got him in this set which of course is what I really wanted because he just looks like a cute little blue bear of course I love how they have a little teeth design his big blue eyes his big ears and everything there with the fur on design so a new sculpted head all for that he has the cape on the back so it's supposed to be brown but it has the yellow option underneath there so multi-color cape design and then we have his all body so he's designed very much like an Ewok so he's mostly all furry blue so we have the blue arms and legs with the little short legs that don't have any of the movement but then he does have the little covering like Jedi robes or whatever you would call it on the top there and the cream color and then the belt around the waist with the little holder there for his lightsaber and it's got some green design there and then he does have his lightsaber so just a blue lightsaber design for him so nothing special about that didn't give him anything special for it so it's cool that we got nubs like I said to go along with the other kids that I'll show in a second and then we get Nash Durango as well which is the big thing of the set because it comes with her crimson firehawk from her family so again she's another one of the main characters from the show she's not a Jedi she just works at the Tanu spaceport so she's around a lot and does different adventures with the kids but she looks pretty good you know has just like a normal human looking face with the orange hair that I don't know if this is a new design I would assume it is and I've never seen it before but could have been used in some like Lego city set or something but a nice hair design and of course she has like a scared face or whatever there on the back so pretty cool and then she's got an outfit of like the bluish gray sort of shirt on with the brown leather jacket on over top since she is a pilot she has the brown leather jacket some greenish color pants with the short legs that do have the movement so she can be able to sit down and then she comes with the wrench as well since she does work on the spaceship and like a mechanic and stuff she comes with that and then she does have this design on the back as well which I don't really know what that's for like I don't know what it's designed it's just part of her but I don't know really what it's used for but it's cool to get Nash in the set as well and then we do get her little droid as well thrown in not really a minifigure it's just one of the lego like canister pieces but it does have the printing since it's clear and we have rj83 which looks pretty fun and cute so just this little robot with like the beady head with the big cartoony eyes and everything there so it just looks pretty fun but like i said not a whole lot to it since it's pretty basic design and not really considered a minifigure but it does look pretty cute but as i said now that we have that we can throw in our other characters we got from the first set so of course we have kai and Liss. so we have of course i'm not them all down now so now we have our three main young jedi characters as well as nash which would round out the group there so that is what i wanted from this set to be able to complete our little group of friends so very cool to have that so i'm happy with all of the young jedi adventure stuff but then we have our buildable set itself. So we have the Crimson Firehawk, which we'll look at in a second. So first we do get a little speeder bike. So we got a speeder bike with the first set that was more of a red design. So we get this one in blue and it's mostly used for nubs, at least from the box, you know, nubs was on it. So you can just sort of stand him on here so he can be riding on the speeder bike. So just a basic design, not a whole lot of details to it or anything, just pretty basic design of a speeder bike there. And then we get a part of the market. So again, on the Tinu planet, there's of course like the spaceport and we have a little market. So we just have a little market stand with some food 
food and stuff and extra little fun accessories around here. So we have the food stand. So, so we have a fish over here in a basket. Then we have a little plant thing. So just a plant of some sort growing in the pot. Then we have an apple over here in the barrel and a wedge of cheese in the box there. And again, just a little market stand that has nice roof design with the different blue colors and stuff. So that all looks pretty fun, but no really person to sort of populate. I wish we got an extra little character to throw in there. Then we have a grill with a fish on it. So cooking up the fish, so nice like little grill design. And then we also get these extra little chests. So just another box of some sort. And then a chest that opens up and there is an ax inside. I guess it's a hammer. I thought that was an ax. A hammer there stored inside. So again, just a part of this whole little market design that I keep all this stuff together there and just sort of attach it on. So again, just another little play feature. Not a whole lot to it. It's not important or anything. So we just have that included. And then we have the Crimson Firehawk. And again, this is in the four plus design. So pretty big pieces. So we have this whole red section was already pre-made and then this gray section as well. So you just sort of attach those two together. Then we have the big cockpit cover as well. So it's a big piece with nice printing all over it with the little piece attached up top. So there we have access to the front of the Crimson Firehawk, which is just a shuttle used by the Durango Shuttle Service, which is a transport company located on Tanu. So Nash's family uses it. This is their main ship and she tends to just fly it around in the show. But there you can see inside. So all we really have is a seat there with a control panel. So again, just to sort of fill out the cockpit design in there. And then the rest is pretty open and empty. It does have a door on the back. So obviously we have the cockpit piece to sort of close it up that I just sort of took off. Engines on the side and just little guns there on the front. But on the back, we do have a door that opens. And what's cool with that door is that you can actually take the speeder bike and fit it back inside here. So it fits right inside and stores in the back there. So that's pretty cool. We can store and sort of fly it around. And then of course we can also take our characters and put them inside. So we can obviously take like Nash and just sit her in the pilot seat and put the cockpit back on. And so there we have Nash inside the ship ready to fly it around and you can stick nubs back in there and everything as well and RJ. So it's pretty cool. We can fit all that stuff inside. I like that it does store the speeder bike in the back there as well. Just got to be able to get it back out though. So like I said, I'm not really too crazy about the set. I'm mostly in on these for the characters themselves. So that's all I really care about. So that like the ship and stuff are just sort of, I want to say extras thrown in. I mean, not really extra. It's mostly what you're paying for, which makes this at such high price. But I was mostly wanting it for nubs and then Nash as well, since those are the two things I cared for most about getting. So that's going to be it for this Crimson Firehawk set review. Let me know what you thought of this set down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my review, let me know with the thumbs up. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.